<clears throat> hey, welcome back to Fixing Things. This is going to be part two on the Mihal truck on the F600. And we're going to be putting these boxes underneath the bed of that truck. You, you might say, well, okay, what's the big deal? Well, the big deal is my F600 is no longer a big commercial truck. It's a pickup truck. So we got to make these things look pickup truck safe. Well, no, scratch that, edit that. We got to fix these things because these things are used and abused. <laughs> so uh, this one here, the hinges is falling out of them. These other orange ones that I got here, uh, they're um, got big cracks in them, stress cracks. So we're going to uh, fix them up, put some new hinges on here, and mount these things underneath the, the bed. So watch me struggle on putting these bit boxes in the truck. That should be easy. Nothing, nothing is ever easy. Nothing... Is ever easy. All right, so let's take a look at these boxes and see what I got to do to them. So on this box here, the outer hinges, they're shot. And this, it's just shot. So we're gonna weld some, weld some new hinges on them. The inner one, the center ones. Okay, but to get to get this one on, there's a height difference and stuff like that. So I'm thinking about sliding it underneath, but then I'm gonna have a distance here. So I'm gonna have to cut the edge of this off to slide it underneath. Weld this all, weld this all on there. Shouldn't be too bad. I'm not going to cut all this off. Well, yeah, probably am. If I get the grinder out, I'm going to cut it out. So, my orange boxes, they got big giant blowouts on them. So we're just going to grind on the edge and just, just, just weld them up like that or so. Same thing. This one's got a whole blowout on the side here. Because all that's going to take the structure out, so I can't put nothing heavy in it. So they were suspended on the sides, and the weight was pulling on them constantly. And they probably had all kinds of heavy stuff in them. Same thing here, the third, third orange one. It's all blowed out here on the side. So we're going to grind all that up and weld those and they'll be they'll be supported from the top now so this side here this side here I'm going to use as my under my, my big uh, the orange boxes all put together bolted together and bolted down through the deck so it, it's I'm not going to mount it and screw it to the decking board, I mean to the frame so it'll pull apart. It's going to have to pull the decking boards and everything through the deck to get what I need done. Why is there a little spider on my camera? I mean, it's storage too long. This is the first time I've used my Canon uh, M50 in a while. And I, I can hear the bumblebees or wasps and everything. So I gotta get this truck rolling so they don't make their nests here. But we're gonna mount that big black one underneath here. Same thing, it's gonna be bolted from above so the stress is not onto the side. Uh, that's the way it was before and it has no stress cracks. It's just that uh, the hinges were falling off. So the hinges were probably falling off because the hinges were falling off. They just kind of look that way. So 
we'll get started on the big black box first. And while we got the welder out, we'll slap up the orange boxes on there and get them all nice and done also. And when it's done, it, it should look pretty good. <laughs> That's the whole idea. I want to get these boxes on there because this truck is going to be set up to do a bunch of different things. It's going to be my shop truck for the shop, but not only that, it's, uh, it's going to be, uh, I can go out and do recovery works. I'll be able to pull anything I want with it. It's a heavy duty truck. Uh, I'll be able to go on road trips with it, pulling the trailer, doing car shows. Uh, this is going to be my go-to truck. Now, I got my F-350 over here, too. If I got to go somewhere that's really far and I want to be in comfort, because that thing is smooth. But I'm going to set this one up with air, air compressor in and stuff like that. And um, if I want to put a little welder on there, I want to put battery 120 power on there, this truck's going to have it. And it can hold the weight. And it's... it's it's not going to even tell the weights there. Um, when I used to drive this truck up and down the road, it didn't matter if it was completely full or empty. It got the same gas mileage no matter what. About, about four to eight miles per gallon, depending on how much I had my foot in it. So I'm going to get on this one first, and we're going to weld up the things so my editing on these videos I want to apologize in advance right now it, it uh, is probably not going to be the same as what you're you had been seeing um, I'm not going to be using my iPhone I had a computer malfunction before and I was doing it on on my Canon M50 and now I'm going back to the Canon M50 because I got a brand new my wife thank you Lord she seen me struggling with that old computer, which was, a, it's a nice computer, the one I had. It was a um, computer, it was a PC, had Linux in it. Um, but this is going to be a, map, uh, a Mac Pro uh, book, so, and it's set up for videoing. Thank, she, she always thinks of me. She sees me struggling, and, you know, God bless her soul. She's out taking the car to get it inspected and getting emissions done on it now. The, the Charger, Challenger, CUDA. So we'll get started on this first. Things are going to get hot fast out here. It's a nice hot day. I should be doing it in the garage, but I got the bikes in there. I need to get the bikes out of there. So what we're going to do is cut this piece so that the hinges line up with these. And this is pretty thick gauge. So it looks like if I get the back of the hinge on that, I can cut this thing about right in here. And then it should slide up underneath there. We'll take this over to the bench grinder, over to the bench, and take the, the, the cutoff wheel and cut these bad boys up. All right, now these things are ready for fitment. So what I'm thinning is, I could put them right to the outside. That's not bad, that's probably a good idea. And they fit really good there now.
got that thing done. Now we're going to flip it over and open it up and weld the inside of the hinge. All right, see if I can't get this thing moved without dropping it. Supposed to be a warm day. It turned out to be a pretty hot day. All right. There's other boxes. Like All right. I got a funny feeling this is going to fall. Perfect. I couldn't have planned that much better myself. Got me some nuts, got me some bolts, got me some washers, got me a drill with an extension on it. I'm not sure, maybe this will look better if I can get this further back. Much better. I don't mind having a little bit of reveal there. So we'll come out. We don't want to go through this, we want to come through that. Hot.
that bad boy's on there. That looks like it's made for that spot. It's on there, it's tight. I may have to put some more on the inside. Looks like there was six 3 8 bolts in there originally on whatever it was in. I don't think it's going nowhere. I'm not gonna be filling this thing up with tons and tons and tons of heavy weight. The box itself is heavy. If I have to, I can weld that sucker right to the bed, but things that flex, the wells will break. It's not as good as bolts on that type of thingy. All right, let's go do the other side. All right, so I started drilling and bolting these together. I'm just using quarter 20. It's getting ready to rain. Putting some clamps on them. And uh, this is my last bolt on it. And then we'll be able to flip it over and see if we can't weld up some of those, those holes. It's the next day, and man, we had a downpour. I mean, it was raining so hard that you couldn't see right in front of you. I mean, it was raining hard. That was a bad storm. <clears throat> Me and the wife, we went to uh, uh, Lowe's to see if we can find some mulch and stuff like that. And, and I mean, when we got there, it was like downpour. We didn't get anything. I think I bought... Uh, a can for to put the the duck feed and the bird the the feed in, and we bought uh, some seeds and stuff like that. But we didn't go out in the garden center because it was just bad. So now we're back. It's time to get to finish this project up. Uh, while I was waiting for my wife to get ready last night, I went ahead and, and it was already starting to rain. I went ahead and jacked up the. Uh, what is that called? Toolbox. Toolbox. Just like we did on the other side. And right now it's only being held up by a ratchet strap. I got it nice and squared up on here. It's flush all the way around. The other side hangs out about, about three eighths of an inch. This one here I'm flushing up because it sits out further. And that, that one is a lot deeper. And it just, it sits better that way. For some strange reason, I, I don't know why. Anyways, so let's go ahead and finish this up. Let's get our holes drilled and um, get this thing finished. And then we'll show you how it turned out, right? Man, that's all I'm talking about. It does look good, though. It looks good. All right, we're going to start with drilling, drilling a hole. Not with this. This 
for a pilot hole. So the back of the box is right here. It's aligned with that line. And there's a two by two tubing. So we got to come over about three inches. We'll put a hole right about here-ish. One more bolt to do, and it's under the fuel tank. So we're gonna slide the fuel tank over. That's why I didn't bolt it yet, and uh, get that last bolt in there. So I didn't want it to rub here. I need to get it right here. -ish. Before I put the last nut in, I want to show you I'm using a pretty heavy gauge flat washer and I'm using the one of these nylon nuts. And I'm doing that so they don't back off. Sucked it right down into the wood. Ugh. What do you say, Ethel? Every time I say her name, she wiggles her tail. Are you a good girl? Yeah? Yeah? What, you, you coming to visit me? Yeah? Are you a good girl? Good girl, yes you are. Yeah. Can you come see me? Yeah? No, you're too busy foraging? Okay. I'll let you be then. Too busy. So I got this one here. The last one. It's already done. So now we just got to move the fuel tank back. And we can probably go ahead and anchor the fuel tank. I want to put something, a little bit of rubber stuffies underneath the fuel tank. Uh, I really don't need to now because now it's, it's sitting on the wood and it shouldn't rub. So we're going to. Slide it back into position, take the straps off, and I, I may not may not bolt the fuel tank down yet because I still got to paint this area right here. We just don't want to make no test drives up the street with the, <laughs> the fuel tank loose. <laughs> that might not be too good. All right, I guess the only thing left to do is to release this strap. And see if it holds. Release the strap. Does the tanks fall to the ground? No. Got it home for my straps. I went ahead and tightened up all the latcher upper tightener uppers so they seal up tight. Looks good. It does. It looks good. So everybody out there was talking about what are you going to do with that space? 
What are you going to do with that space between your bed? You ought to do this, and you ought to do that. I can't tell you how many different comments I got. If it wasn't on YouTube, it was on Facebook. If it wasn't on Facebook, it was behind the barber chair. People telling me, this is what I would do. Listen, it ain't easy putting a bed on an F-600. <laughs> it darn sure wouldn't have been easy putting a bed here, cutting all the sheet metal, hooking it together. Ain't for me. I am not a sheet metal guy. I'm a heavy metal guy. I like the thicker metal. I can do it, but maybe small patches, which we're going to be having a lot of small patches on the bed, probably starting next couple of weeks because we got to get this truck ready to go. I think it's time to go for a ride in it pretty soon. I, I got to maybe at least put a screw in the fuel tank so it don't fall off. Hey, God bless each and every one of you. Hey, remember, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That was a project. That was a project. Let's take a walk around. That looks good. Go around the other side, me haul truck. Now I'm kind of up in the air on what I should do. Should I paint the boxes orange? And when I work on this fuel tank, should I paint the orange on the fuel tank and the straps a different color? I don't know. Uh, should I paint all the boxes black or should I paint the boxes orange? Leave a mark down in the, in the comment section on what you think would look best. That would look best with the them. I'm thinking even black would be okay. U-Haul decided to make the tank black, make the steps black, and this is down and around the same body line. Think about it in your head how you picture it. God bless each and every one of you. I'll see you on the next Fixing Things with Pastor Bill. Man, that thing is good. I'll be able to put a little presser up in here. Oh man, my brain is working overtime. Oh yeah. Gotta tweak that a little bit. Ah.